Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make these editable animated KPI gauges directly in PowerPoint. So let's jump straight into it. We're going to start with a blank presentation, right click and choose layout blank. I'm going to save time by quickly pasting in the outer part of this KPI gauge. If you want to recreate this, you can simply insert chart, select a donut pie, then put in 12 numbers, and then you can click and click again to select the individual parts. And all I've done is filled these in with no fill, so you can't see them. So now let's add our KPI gauge indicator. And to do that, we're going to use another donut chart. So we'll go to insert chart, pie and select donut. I only want this to have three data points in this example. So I'm going to delete this bottom one. You can click here and click delete and click here and click delete. I also don't need these quarters or the sales. This first part of the pie, point one, I want to be blank. So you can click on it and then click on it again and go to shape fill and choose no fill. I also want it to have no outline. For number two, it's whatever color you want the pointer to be. I'm just going to choose black because that's nice and simple. Again, shape outline and no outline. And then for this third part, I'll click on it and choose shape fill, no fill and shape outline, no outline. Now in this cell here, B6, I'm going to put in the full number that I'm going to be using for this gauge. So for example, if you want the gauge to go up halfway, I would enter 50, the whole way 100 and so on. For this test, I'll enter 75 and I'm going to make this bold. I don't want this to be included in the chart. It's just for reference and to adjust the other calculations. So I'm going to roll over this corner point here and drag it up. You can even put a note in here. I put something like enter your KPI out of 100 here. So now I'm going to set this one B3 to 1 which is going to be the actual size of the pointer. This figure here is going to be half of B6. So you can put equal B6 divided by two. And this figure here is going to be 100 minus B2. So equals 100 minus B2. Now I'm going to click on where it says column one, click delete, because I don't want that. Then go to chart design format and then we'll specify the height as 20. And I actually want this chart design to be a pie chart rather than a donut chart. So this indicator is longer. You can have it like this if you want, but I'm going to choose the longer one. So I'll go to change chart type and select pie. Now you can see the longer indicator. And now we're going to click on the indicator itself, right click and use format data series, and then change the angle of the first slice to 90 degrees. You will need to make sure these are both aligned to the center, which I've done already, but you can always go to align, align to slide, and then align center, and make sure they're in the middle. So now let's add the animation, and then I'll show you how you can easily change wherever these go to. So we'll close this down for now. I'm also going to drag this down slightly. So if we make sure the indicator chart is selected, Hold down shift when your mouse is here and pull down. That looks about right. We basically want it in line there. I can do some fine adjustment later with the cursors. Now we can add the animation. So we'll go to animations, add animation, and I want to choose spin. You can see it going round, but if we go to animation pane, double click on this, we can set some options. So I want a smooth end and also a half spin. Under timing, I'm just going to choose one second. So you can see this now spins around to the correct place. We can click on this legend down here and then press delete because we don't want that. Now when we run this, it's looking good. We can add a rectangle over this bit, which will hide the start of the animation. So we can click here on rectangle, click to drag this where we want it, set the shape fill to white and the shape outline to be no outline put it in the position we want and then run that. 
Now I'll show you how you can easily edit the data. So for example, if we go onto this slide, press Ctrl D to make a new slide, we can simply right click. This is on the gauge pointer on the top, hit edit data. Then on our cell B6, we can put anything we want. Halfway would be 50. I can run that. And that would go straight to halfway. Brilliant. We can do one more and I'll show you how to quickly add a background onto that. So Control D again, duplicate the slide. Right click, edit the data. Go to B6. In this example, I'm going to put 25. Let's run that just to check it works. Great. Now we'll format the background. Go to picture or texture fill, pick anything we want. I'm just going to pick this background. Then we can click on our rectangle and choose slide background fill. Then if we run that, that will work perfectly on our new background. You can also change any of these colors. For example, we can click on the pointer, which is the top chart, hide it from the selection pane menu here by using this little eye and then edit these. So I could, for example, make them all white if I wanted to and then bring that back and then run it. If you want to individually color them, we'll just hide the top pointer again. Click on all of them. You can click on each one individually after that and color them to anything you want. Now we can bring the pointer back by clicking on the eye to make it visible and then run that. Now we have this key performance indicator. We can easily control D to duplicate it. You can change the background to anything you want and everything else will automatically adjust. And then we could right click on this, edit data and enter a new data point in here, for example, 60 and press return and close this down and play from here. So a very flexible way of adding motion graphics to PowerPoint using editable data and charts. And if you'd like to download the source file for this or any other of my tutorials, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. And if you want to become a PowerPoint expert and make stunning slides, watch the next video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please click the like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.